Hello guys, welcome to my channel Aura Tricks, and this is a new video series on Oracle Apex API and uh, in this video we are going to focus on the collections how we can you know create a collection and uh, how we can insert the data into the collection and further how we can you know fetch those data uh, from collection to our database so this is the APIs and let me take you to the collection oh yes this is apex collection there is a naming creation merging collection truncates so lots of help has been given uh, in the oracle uh, you know api and today let's start to uh, create one more collection into our database so let me just log in to my workspace so in the last video we have seen the global variables and uh, i think uh, this was the application that is oracle apex api and we have already uh, seen this variable and refreshing array let's me create a new page and let me give a name as uh, would be collection demo already given next I need a navigation next and finish so first and foremost thing uh, let uh, I have already one uh, created one uh, temporary table you know where I'm going to store my data which I've uh, stored in my collection and let us understand why we require this concept uh, consider uh, let's say you have uh, three different pages that is page one you have page two and you have page three so consider you have certain data on the page one certain data in page three and certain data on page three and collectively all these three uh, pages uh, are inserted into a single database ultimately uh, its uh, data is divided into three different uh, you know pages so one thing is every time let's say here you have 15 to 16 uh, columns again you have here 15 so ultimately we have 40 to 50 columns in a table so instead of you know transferring that data from one to another page it's better to use a collection so what you can do is so whatever the data you have uh, in this uh, first page you can store into the uh, collection okay then move to the next page uh, store that into the collection again and at the last page you can store that data to the database so now let's uh, page has been created for us and let me just create a region that is uh, collection underscore demo it would be a static thing and let me create a uh, item so let me show you the table which I have created uh, for this demo uh, its table is temp and uh, I have a student ID its name city email and class okay so I have uh, this many things in the table and what I want is I want to create this field and take this data from the user and store that data into the collection and then I'll be uh, collecting that data from collection and store into this particular table so let's understand so we required uh, the feeds let's say student underscore ID yes uh, let me just write student ID and what we want is uh, that this uh, should be either display or you cannot have this field as we have a sequence so you can directly jump to instead of ID you can jump to name also right so let me just have student name then we have uh, city email and class so next is city it's city so it would be student city we need one more page item it's email let me call it student email then we have one more item that is class and this time it would be student class oh yes uh, now we need one uh, button here and I'll be calling add to collection so whatever whenever we click on this button 
all the data would be stored into the collection so for that we need to have a collection and uh, to create it I'll be creating one process which will be executing whenever I'm clicking on this add to collection button let me create one uh, just a second not branch I required a process so let me call it to add to collection and we want to implement certain code here it would be declare begin and end so what we want here is I want to check whether the uh, collection name which I'm going to create is exist or not if it is not exist then it will be created and if it is exist then all the data will be truncated because whenever I'm adding a new field I want each field to be added into the database one by one okay I don't want uh, every data to be uh, collected in another collection I just wanted to have uh, one at a time right so we need to uh, type first f apex underscore collection it's if uh, not instead of this one dot collection underscore exist collection would be a uh, student underscore collection what we want then it would be end if uh, we want to create it apex underscore collection dot create underscore collection and this would be student underscore collection okay so if it is if doesn't uh, not note it's not if not this collection if if this collection doesn't exist then it will be created okay and what if it is already there then in the else part we want let me just uh, complete it and this time apex underscore collection dot we want it truncate truncate underscore collection and collection name would be student underscore collection okay uh, we missed one code over here so we require to add one code and it would be here here also okay so we are good to go let me just check yes it's running so what we have done is that if the collection is exist then it will be truncated all the data will be truncated if it is doesn't exist then it will be created right so now let me take you to the apex uh, api collection so if you want to add a member then it says that apex collection dot add member and then uh, you are you can use this particular thing uh, I would recommend you to read this uh, particular thing because uh, you know there are a number of things you need, need to keep in my mind while working on the collections so we can use this apex collection dot add member so let's start that apex underscore collection dot add underscore member yes it's done so let's see uh, what this is saying now we need to add this collection name okay so let me just provide this collection name and you need to write like this collection name we have a collection name as student underscore collection what next we need to do is uh, we need to give this uh, you know uh, p series c01 for where care n for number d for date if you have used it or you know so we need to give like this p underscore c001 and the value of it so let me give p underscore 001 as it would be c001 right and in the first one what we want is that first is my 
you know uh, student ID I want to have that student ID so instead of this one uh, I can use uh, like let me define one uh, you know like uh, temp underscore ID it would be number and I'm getting temp underscore ID is equals to uh, it would be temp underscore seq dot uh, next well so let me check if it is working yes we have some error just because we are utilizing this one yes it's working now so I'll be utilizing this temp ID here temp underscore ID then P underscore C 002 this would be uh, just let me uh, you know keep this thing open so that we can see the names of the variables yes and this time it would be p4 underscore I think student name and then we have pc003 and this is the p4 underscore cd yes then next would be c004 and this would be p4 and this time email p underscore c005 this time it would be uh, last one is class okay now I think we are good to go let us try yes it's working so uh, one more change required is we want this code to be executed when somebody click on add to collection button and uh, data added to collection and we want error while adding data to collection yes now it's good now how we can check that uh, whether the data has been inserted into the collection or not for that uh, I'm gonna create a uh, one new region and this would be a classic region in which we are going to query the collection and get the data from it and we will be query like select let me just do this so that you can view it properly yes we will be selecting the C001 and uh, that would be display as let me just enter it C001 as student underscore ID next C002 C002 as student name C003 as student underscore city c004 as student underscore email and c005 as student class it's from apex underscore collections where collection underscore name is equals to we have stood underscore collection let me just run yes it's working save so what we have done is we have called uh, this one okay we have a student collection not stood collection so we might not get the data properly if it is like this so it's student collection not stood collection oh yeah now it's done so let us check first whether uh, the data has been displayed by this or not let me just provide the username password okay uh, so student name would be okay 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 so let me try to add to it collection okay data added to the collection but it's currently not showing here right so let us go and check why it is not showing into our data okay there was a small mistake which I've done yes now it's working 
let me check again with the temp data yes it's been added right now let's continue what we want is we want to have one more button over here so whenever somebody is clicking on that button we want this data to be added into our table which is this one currently this table doesn't have any data right so let me go to the page there is this one and here we need to have one button let me call it to add to database so we will be creating one process uh, as we have created earlier and this would be add to db yes and here again declare begin and and insert into store temp and values are uh, we want a std id we want std name we want std uh, underscore would be city then we want uh, i think I, after city we have email and class us email yes and the last one is class and this would be select c001 c002 c c003 c004 c005 now we want this column from the current apex collection from apex underscore collections where collection underscore name is student underscore collection termination let me just yes it's working okay now uh, data added to database error while data insertion and we want it to be when somebody clicking on add to database so let us try to run this program again and let me give uh, the proper name would be take which i would be amdabad email would be t at the rate d dot com and class would be 10 let me add it to the collection yes it's been added to the collection and let me try to add to the database yes it says that it's added to the database but we want that to check or verify go to database yes our data is added to the table okay so this is the first video regarding the apex collection and in the further videos we will uh, we might focus on this uh, further we also elaborate uh, what we have uh, you know there are a number of things as far as the uh, collection API is concerned and uh, there are lots of things uh, which I need to cover so I'll be trying my best to you know cover each and everything uh, whichever is possible and uh, if I'm able to create one demo for you I'll be creating for you and uh, there are a number of things also so you can you know visit uh, or check uh, this particular thing also you can also update things okay thank you so much for watching this video and soon i'll be uploading some more videos on uh, this uh, special series of oracle apex uh, api collection thank you thank you for watching